I may call on you, Mr. Minister Saraga, to comment on sharing your thoughts on how Tanzania has approached managing lead. For us, it's critically important as, uh, as a country to note that we are not alone in the fight. Uh, Tanzania has been uh, the champion uh, in terms of uh, putting the right measures of erad eradicating lead uh, within within the society. Uh, when we, we, we first did this back in 2016, but on that same note, uh, we are also signatories to the uh, uh, Basel Convention of 1999. So uh, we, we have begun uh, this process more than uh, three decades ago in, in terms of uh, recognizing the harmful effects of this substance and taking the right measures uh, to remove it. So as I had stated, uh, we have been in the forefront within the region uh, to take measures uh, to, er to, to remove lead uh, within, within our society. And uh, I, I don't have to dwell too much on the statistics, but in terms of the broader economic effect on the continent, uh, you look at the numbers, uh, it's, it's costing the continent almost $134 million each year as a result of uh, lead poisoning. Mm -hmm. uh, that is a significant amount of money considering the already, uh, you know, effects uh, that are prevalent, but also the uh, weaknesses within the health system. You know, so it adds or compounds the problem even further because now you have another crisis on top of another crisis that you have to, that you have to address. Typically, when we talk about lead, we talk about paints, we talk about batteries, but you can also find lead in some of these small electronic products. And some of them, they do have a higher content than the uh, regular uh, requirement. And so in, in terms of addressing that and the uh, identifying it and how to remove it, uh, that has become a challenge. But uh, all in all, our regulatory bodies, uh, which we have plenty, uh, have been doing a wonderful job, first of all, to make sure that in all of our border crossings, uh, ports of entry, uh, we have the right frameworks uh, to identify is already in the country, uh, the previously used batteries or toys, and how to uh, make follow-up on that and remove what is already in there. So the general outlook from our, from our point is uh, to make sure that we continue to uh, engage at the community level, uh, sensitize the community so that they understand uh, to what extent this product has uh, an effect on their health. I think know-how and understanding is very critical in this aspect. And then uh, making sure that we have a collaborative aspect of it, whether it's uh, the private sector, the government, uh, PPP framework, and civil society organizations, as, of course, have a pivotal role as well to play in terms of sensitization and actually going in uh, at the community level and removing some of these harmful sub uh, substances. Usisahau kusubscribe, like na kukomment.